Hey beauties and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So in today's video I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Midnight, I think it's Euphoria, yes yeah, Euphoria, um, gel polish kit collection by Beatles. They were kind enough to send me this uh, through PR so thank you Beatles for sending me this of course. So it does come with instructions uh, where you can, it tells you how to apply, prep and remove. It also comes with a base, a matte top coat and a glossy top coat along with four different um, little glitters and two brushes as well. Sorry it sped through it. <laughs> this video is actually really long <laughs> so I had to cut it down a little bit. So I'm just showing you those those three. I was like I was really excited about those first two and I wasn't sure what that third one was like because they all looked really like iridescent. But anyway we're just going to swatch through them as I always do and there are some really lush colours in here. Uh, this a lot of solid colours and they're like ranging from purples and pinks and like kind of like plum red um definitely gives midnight vibes for sure there's also uh, some blues there's uh glitters there's a good few glitters and there is this really this one here this green is so oh i just i don't know i just love this green <laughs> And I do use a lot of the different colours in this set today. I tried to use as many as I could. Uh, so basically I'd done a video um, about a week or two ago now and I put it on TikTok and it was just one nail. I was just like playing around and being creative and I created this nail and I put it on my story on Instagram and a few people did ask me to recreate it in like an actual tutorial. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a long set and recreate that set with one hand and then the other hand I've had a few people asking if I could do the uh, gel x dupe method and paint them. So we're going to do two, com they're not completely different, they match, but they're both a little different. One's a short set, one's a long set. Like I said, I'm going to start doing two sets now uh, per video just to, you know, get get more creativity out of these uh, gel polishes and the poly gels that I get sent and stuff like that. And I, I get to use my, my products a little bit more because I feel like I'm not using them that much so i also that um that white oh gosh what is it white iridescent color that that one there the a668 i think it is so that one is a topper as well so you can put it on top of colors which is and it just oh it makes these um gel polishes just even better that you can put that on top oh it's beautiful so i do use mccart's iridescent white glitter and i also use uh different butterflies as well uh from different kits that i have received so moving on to the actual set so i do one set of press-ons and then i do one with the gel x uh just because I don't know, I just did. <laughs> so you of course can just make press-ons and you can stick them on with glue, uh, with uh, the glue tabs. You can even uh, probably get away with doing the gel X version, like doing the gel X uh, method, sorry, with this set as well. Because this glitter, it's a little bit see-through. I had to go over with two coats. Uh, so basically what I'm doing is just painting up the top here you don't have to be with straight lines or anything like that I paint up the top and I paint at the bottom and I leave the middle bare because what we're going to do is we're going to go in with um uh one of those glittery as you can see I've done it with different colors as well uh so you can see not straight at all so I'm going to go in with this one now because it's a it's a clear um very light blue yellowy green iridescent basically uh color and i'm just popping it into the space here because i wanted to have it some clarity but i wanted glitter then i go in with mccart's iridescent glitter i got this from uh the pink kit i believe yeah you can get it from the pink kit and there's also another kit that you can get um i'll try and remember to look them down below of course if you just want the glitter i don't think it's worth buying a kit for the glitter um but yeah <laughs> you know what i mean so these butterflies i bought them off of amazon uh eons ago now it feels like and then those other butterflies the paper ones they are from femi beauty x mccart's uh collaboration kit uh, but yeah, there you. I think you can buy them on Amazon and stuff. I'll try my best to find everything and link it down below. 
Um, so I do this to every single nail. I put it, I put the gel polish on, I leave it wet, I add the glitter and the butterflies, then I cure. Before going in with some base coat, I add some gold leaf foil uh, from right there in front of us. I add some gold to like around the trim of the the gel, the coloured like glitter gel polish. I hope that, <laughs> I can't explain. It's the sun, it's the heat. I swear. <laughs> It's driving me insane um so anyway i done that and then i go in with a nice generous uh, amount of top coat also if you find that your nails are going a bit misshapen with this design you can of course go in with your nail file and just file the sides to crispen up the shape again and then go in with top coat again just to, and just make sure it's a thin even layer of top coat and cure and that's how you'll get your shape back but you can also wipe the sides down but don't wipe them with your skin because of allergies you can get allergies um i just use like a lint free pad or you can just use a tiny bit of kitchen roll and just swipe it up the sides that is another way to do it um but yeah so it was really easy to do this set and the way that i've done it is that you don't need clear builder gel or anything like that or poly gel to encapsulate you literally just use the base coat and top coat the base coat um goes into all the crevices and you also stick your gold foil into it of course uh but it also prevents like bubbles and stuff it's all encapsulated in and then the top coat just adds the extra uh, layer of encapsulation so that it's not gonna poke and stuff like that so i will be putting it on my hand but now we're gonna go on to the next so this one here we do the gel x so uh you would prep your nail face before going in with this base coat and i'll leave a video linked in the cards but i use some peel off base coat and i'm just painting on a, a nice layer of uh base gel base coat here i curl my nail up then for 90 seconds with with beetles by the way um so yeah just make sure you yeah so then you want to make sure that your nails fit sidewall to sidewall with a little gap in the in the center as you've just seen now what i'm going to show you is you would etch the inside of the nail i've also got my little mini lamp here so the model ones one um so what you would do is etch inside the nail you can also use some primer and you can just prime the and um, the inside and then you don't have to worry about etching because i know some people don't have e-files which is fine like you know no one not everyone has e-files <clears throat> it was only until a couple of months ago that i got my own e-file so don't worry then you just paint in some base coat you can also use builder gel you can use acrylic you can use poly gel um but essentially i just used the base coat because i didn't want to um use anything else like so that it, was, it was you know everything was in this kit that you needed you know apart from like decorations and the actual um tips themselves <laughs> so anyway, as i'm showing you i just put a little bit into the well of the nail and then i stick it on make sure there are no air bubbles and i cure for 10 seconds and then at the end of putting them all on i then cure in my nail lamp fully for 60 seconds so with this uh method it will take a little bit of getting used to and seeing how much you need and the right amount because obviously each nail is a different size and you know you just gotta wing it until you know what you're doing you then go in with a file i didn't file around the edges but you can of course excuse my dry fingers gosh that is so horrible <laughs> so anyway, you would go over with your uh, e-file on the top or your nail your hand file even and just file to make sure the shape's okay for you and also take away the shine from the nail tips i didn't because again i i'm not going to be keeping these on for very long and then you would go in with some base coat cure for 60 seconds and then go in with your color but i'm just going straight in with the color and i paint halfway up with this color here i did do two coats on this nail and the second nail but i didn't do more than one coat on the other nails but it's up to you these are full coverage and these gel polishes are really nice to work with really creamy really smooth they, they work nicely so i'm going in with that uh, iridescent sort of gel polish on the tip here and before curing any of it i then go in with one butterfly um as you can see i'm trying to with this brush it was a nightmare i ended up using tweezers i think or i might have struggled with the brush for a little bit and then i was like right tweezers <laughs> so i put the butterfly onto the wet gel i cured in my nail lamp and then i went in and done second coats um like i said i don't think you don't need to do second coats you can if you i think if the longer you wear a nail the more coats is necessary um so again i didn't cure and then i just 
slapped them on <laughs> well I didn't slap them on and I'm just going in before curing with some of that silver foil because I thought I've already used the gold on the other set so I'll use the silver on this one and I really do like how these uh, short nails turned out so I do this for every single nail except I change up the colour between each one I use the glitter as a little nail stand and it was a godsend because it was such a pain um, when you're recording it's not that it's hard to paint your nails when you're recording but it's nice to hold them up to your face when you when you want to paint your nails but of course I can't do that because obviously I'm recording so uh, yeah these little glitter tubs really do make my life easier <laughs> so like I said I do the same thing for every nail but I change the colour on the base and I match up the butterfly to the gel polish uh, again these butterflies are from the Femi Beauty kit I, like I said I will try and link everything down below that I used if I can I'll try and find an alternative but obviously if I can't find an alternative I do apologise it's just some things yeah and I do have a discount code for McCart and also for Beatles uh, will be linked down below in the description box that you can use to get money off it's completely up to you you don't have to use them it helps me out and it also you know saves you some coins sorry my son just come in my children are currently uh so on the weekend it was my son's birthday uh he was he turned four and thank you by the way for everyone that did wish him a happy birthday on instagram and stuff like that i really do appreciate it it was very nice of you uh to remember do you know <laughs> to, and to, to, to take time out of your day to say happy birthday i do appreciate it it's absolutely lovely when you guys are just you're like family in a way even though i've never met you guys in person and i absolutely each and every one of you are bloody fantastic but anyhow uh so we went to the beach and i am sunburned all over my legs it's oh my gosh i couldn't believe it uh we put some block on but it didn't work <laughs> my kids were fine but for some reason my body just soaked in the sun block and i got burnt um i was burnt on my arms <laughs> my legs my chest my back and because I was wearing this weird detailed like bathing suit down the center of my chest it had this like weird like s shaped thing going on through the like the, the, the detailing in, on my chest oh, I was like I can't wear a vest top now <laughs> um but yeah we had a really good time at the beach we spent like all afternoon there and then we come home and we had birthday cake and you know and stuff like that um and then we put up the pool Monday night, no, Monday morning, sorry, but it took until like Monday night to finally fill. And I'm not joking, it's been two days now and the kids have just lived in this pool. I went in it yesterday because at the moment Welsh weather is so hot, guys. I am like, it, we can't sleep at night. The, British weather, like, okay, I know that countries are hotter, but we're not used to heat. We're used to rain and grey sky, like, 90% of the year. So when we get these heat waves, we just don't know what to do with ourselves and we don't have air cons for some weird reason in Britain. I, I think it's a fabulous idea to have an air con, but we don't because we're stupid. <laughs> so we have stand-up fans. We buy stand-up fans and literally I have a fan in each room and they're just all on through the, like in the rooms with us at night because the kids are so hot and it's just, oh, it's, it's a nightmare at the moment. So we're hardly sleeping. Um, and I have to keep watching the kids in the pool. So that's why it's, this video is late coming out. <laughs> it is coming, but it's going to be a bit late. Um, because obviously I, I've basically, I'm sat in the window right now watching the kids in the pool as I do this voiceover because I've done the editing in the, in the window as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, we, but we, you know, not complaining in a way because we get some really lush weather and the kids can go out and enjoy it. Um, so yeah, it's been a busy, like, what, five, I'd say, nah, I'd say about four, yeah, four or five days, four or five days has just been non-stop hecticness um so yeah it's but it's been great it's nice to finally be able to like go outside and enjoy ourselves rather than being stuck inside because of the thing that shall not be named <laughs> but yeah guys anyway i'm gonna stop rambling about my life <laughs> here are the end results for both sets um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world i hope you're all staying safe don't forget to keep on smiling and i will see you all in my next video bye guys